here we go, Sunday afternoon leak down test. So I got the front wheel up on a toolbox, a big box under the brake side foot pedal, a couple of blocks under the side stand, and I also have the rear wheel blocked up at the uh, swing arm and rear axis so I can turn the rear wheel to get to top dead center. Here's my little device, a stick. I whittled down a chopstick with the plane to fit through the adapter for the leak down tester. As you can see the hose leading into the cylinder head there. And over here I have a borrowed air compressor with a little pancake tank on it, a good little thing from Grant. The hose, and here's the actual leak down tester. So the air comes in here, this is the regulator, so the method is you get the engine at top dead center and there's actually a cool bolt here it's got a cone end on it and there's a copper washer for normal riding you take out the copper washer find top dead center put the bolt back in the cone goes into a little slot milled across the flywheel to lock the crank at top dead center also handy for doing valves, but you don't really have to do that. Well, that took forever to find top dead center on compression stroke. The first time I had it was on uh, intake, and I was getting a hell of a lot of leakage out of the intake valves, if you can believe it, which I could hear through the air filter. So back to the uh, machine. So the air comes in here from the compressor. You start with the regulator at zero. And this goes to the cylinder head through the spark plug hole. If you have enough air pressure, you just turn in the regulator till this needle goes around to 100. And then you read the leak down on this side. In between the two, there's a sort of aircraft standard, I believe, one millimeter hole that allows the air to flow from one to the other. Sort of a, oh, a flow restrictor, an orifice. So. I got her up to 100, no problem, went a fresh uh, cycle on the compressor, and lo and behold, it went right around to 94 here, which is incredibly good, incredibly good. That is really in the realm of a freshly rebuilt racing engine, so that's fantastic. I do hear some air leaking out of the intake valves, so I'll um, investigate that. I'll take the valve cover off here and just check that I've got the right clearances there. Um, I'm not sure what to do about that other than uh, just ride it. But um, like if it had been 80%, 80 PSI on the second gauge, it still would have been good. 90 would have been fantastic. 94 is phenomenal, phenomenal. 70 is considered a rebuilt. Um, time 70 uh, percent leak down this you know sort of arbitrary units but 100 on the input 70 the cylinder holding 70 with a one inch orifice that is considered borderline rebuilt and for a race engine well beyond rebuilds probably you want to rebuild a race engine if it got below 90 but anyways thought I could do this in a minute but no way so I was turning the rear tire in sixth gear and going back and forth, back and forth to the front here, looking for the notch in the flywheel using this uh, old spark plug inspector here, which has a lamp on it. And um, that got really tedious. Finally, I found I could continuously look here and reach back and pull on a knob on the tire and re return the wheel forward. This after getting pretty close to top dead center with this weighted whittled down chopstick to uh, ride on top of the piston. And it gets a bit bent there because of the valves <laughs> opening and closing. So that's it. Thanks for watching.